This video will illustrate the construction of a tree for an argument to show whether the argument is valid or invalid. The argument that we're going to use is this very simple one right here, and you'll see that in fact this really is a very simple tree to construct. Kind of fun. Um, let's just jump right in. We know that the first step is to set up the counterexample for the argument. We know a counterexample is an assignment of values that makes the premises true and the conclusion false. So that's what we want to do. We want to stack the premises A and B and C and then tilde C wedge D and just listing them makes them true and then of course what do we have to do for the conclusion? A arrow tilde B. We need to negate it in order to make it false. Have I just successfully negated the conclusion? No, I haven't. What's the important mistake? You've got to put in parentheses so that the tilde applies to the whole thing. All right, let's put a line under it to show that this is our setup. Premise is true, conclusion false. Now we're going to construct the tree and see if this makes sense. We start by applying the rules, stacking rules first. All right, we've got stacking and branching rules over here. If you've got a branch, then you're a branching rule. We want to do stacking things first. This first line has an ampersand as its main connective. Ampersand is a stacking rule. Okay, so let's put a one here and we'll do this first. This is basically just ampersand out. Break up the line at the ampersand. All right, successful first step. Notice we've just exposed another connective and it's also an ampersand. So probably the best thing to do is just go ahead and break this one up as well. So now we'll get A and B. All right, well, we're continuing on down. What about a negated wedge? Well, the negated wedge is also a stacking rule. So step three, we're just going to continue to stack. Now, if you think about De Morgan's, this turns into tilde C and tilde D. So that's why this is a stacking rule. And that's also why what goes here is tilde C and tilde D. Do you notice what just showed up? If you're watching the construction process and you're thinking about the next step, step three, notice what we just found. Every time you apply a rule, you should stop. And even if it's not a branching rule, you really should stop and check for contradictions. Each pathway through the tree is an attempt to make the setup make sense. If a pathway contradicts itself, then you close it because it doesn't make sense. Well, in fact, our one pathway just closed itself. This pathway says that C is true, and it also says that C is false. We are done. We don't even have to continue to work. If you think about what's going on here, these two premises contradicted each other. This one said that C is true. This other premise said that C is false. Well, that's a contradiction, and that's the contradiction that showed up. From a contradiction, anything follows, so it wouldn't have even mattered what the conclusion was. The biggest risk with a tree like this is that you won't notice that it is closed. But let's pretend, uh, let's, let's get rid Let's pretend that we didn't notice the contradiction at that point and we had continued on along. Then we would work on this as step four and this turns out to be another stacking rule. So that would be A and tilde tilde B. Well now you've done everything so you'd stop and you'd say would this tree close? Well as a matter of fact this branch still would close because there's a C and there's a tilde C. Now, if you hadn't noticed it before, you might not notice it now. But whether you complete the tree or not, that single branch closes. We are done. If all branches close, then the argument is valid. If there's even one open, it's invalid. But of course, all of ours closed. Really simple tree.